Welcome to another video on Sistema Kalushnikova on our YouTube channel Transition CRT. Today we will discuss one of the many principles that you will encounter in the upcoming videos, which will be the factor of false. Factor of false combines four elements, which are mass, acceleration, force and direction. All these four elements combined are the factor of force and when projected by one object to another on collision they will um, initiate damage either to one or both of the objects. Factors of force are recognizable in our daily life. You could for instance see them by looking at moving vehicles, balls that are being kicked into a goal or objects that are being thrown towards or away from you. All those things are actually factors of force. Today I will try to describe a little bit easier by using this pencil. This pencil has a certain weight which we call mass. When put in motion it will have a certain speed which will of course be initiated by a certain acceleration. This elements those elements combine provide us a certain force, the force of the object in motion. And when we add direction to it, it then becomes a factor of force. So a moving object with a certain direction is equal to, for instance, a boxer's fist that is being thrown from one boxer to another in a fight. May I have some assistance, please, if you'd be so kind. This situation goes for the pencil, like I said, that moves in a certain direction with a certain speed and force towards a certain surface. Same goes for a fist, like I said, from one boxer to another, which adds body weight, acceleration, speed, force and a direction in order to collide with a certain surface. Thank you very much. In order to be able to prevent collisions and damage occurring from those collisions, we manipulate the trajectory of a certain object and we reduce the angle of impact. I will show the angle of impact first. If an object collides with a surface or a plane in a steep angle, which is called a 90 degrees angle, the collision and the impact, also the damage, will be at its maximum. By reducing the angle, we will generate a ricochet that will allow the object to proceed its tra trajectory, but then again it will be manipulated into another direction. By doing so, we will reduce the impact and the damage occurring from that collision. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this information useful. Make sure to like us and subscribe on our channel and keep track on the follow-on videos on the many principles we will be explaining about Sistema Kadochnikova. Thank you.